So this is our 2.1 millimeter power plug that plugs into most of the jacks that I put on our projects. To it's connected a 9 volt battery clip that clips onto the end of a 9 volt battery. In this video I'm going to show you how to properly connect the wires to the 2.1 millimeter plug. Today we want to use this 2.1 millimeter power plug and we're going to solder on the leads from this 9 volt battery clip. Uh, for our uh, little project I have over here, uh, this is 2.1 millimeters and it just plugs in there and that would power my circuit. And I want to power it from a 9 volt battery so I'm going to solder the leads into this connector. Uh, the first thing I need to do is to unscrew the uh, the barrel. So turn that counterclockwise and that'll reveal the inside workings. Now this is the uh, cover for the 2.1 millimeter power jack. I need to run the two leads for the battery clip through the end. Make sure you put it on the right way around. So the leads come out this end and the clip is down this end. Now we need to put a little bit of strain relief in here so what I do is I take the two leads and I put a signal knot in it. Okay, so just a single knot like that. So when this comes down, it'll go over the knot and provide a little bit of strain relief back in this area here. It's important to do this before you solder this onto your connector. You're going to need to use some kind of vise to hold the piece in place. As you can see, we have the, uh, the lower portion, which is where we're going to connect our ground or our black lead. And we have an inner portion where we're going to connect our red lead or our positive voltage. So turning it around, you can see that I have the lower piece I have the upper piece for the positive voltage and I have this plastic insulator that goes around here. If you overheat either of these two pieces the plastic insulator is going to melt and short out your uh, power plug. So you want to start, this tip is fairly dirty so you need to clean it off on your sponge. Okay. Bring in your soldering iron, add a little bit of solder to it, and you want the solder to kind of be on the bottom. So you're going to bring it in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the tip on the metal and bring in the solder and melt it. And it should stick. Okay. You don't want to keep heating it and heating it and heating it because then the plastic piece will melt. So take your iron away for a little while, let it cool and bring it back in and then melt a little bit more in there. Okay. So you can see I've put a little bit of solder in there. Now the next step is I'm going to take the wires from the uh, battery clip and you also want to make sure that those are tinned as well. So you're going to have to pick up a little bit of solder on your tip and then make sure that you get some of that solder on the leads. Now don't leave the tip on the lead for too long because then the metal will heat up, the wire will heat up and the insulation will slowly shrink backwards and you don't want that to happen. So the next step is to bring in our uh, black wire and reheat the solder and melt the wire into that solder. So 
you need to start with a clean tip and you need to add a little bit of solder to that tip. You never want to work with a dry tip. So now bring in the black wire, place it on top, then bring in your soldering iron, reheat the solder, take the soldering iron away, Do not move the wire, because then you'll end up with a sod cold solder joint, and you don't want that to happen. Now we need to do the other positive tab. So I'm going to rotate the barrel over. I'm going to bring in my red lead. And make sure that you have tinned your red lead. So put a little bit of solder. onto the end of your tip and then tin your lead so once you've tinned your lead you need to come in here and reheat that uh, connection so bring your uh, straighten your wire up a bit and you want to bring your wire in so it's touching And now you want to heat that up so that the wire goes into that little solder. Just like so. Then take your iron away. And then once it cools, you can let go. Now you'll notice on here, we have this little strain relief built in. These two little tabs here. So that is to hold the wires in place so you can bend your red wire down beside your black wire and then take your needle nose pliers and bend those over. I have a small pair of needle nose pliers here so what I want to do is I want to bend these tabs over so I'm going to start with the first one and give it a little bend and then I'm going to get the other one and give it a little bend and then I'm gonna bend them both together so now I have a little bit of strain relief there now I'm gonna move my knot down closer so I come along here and I move my knot down closer to the end here and I'm also tightening it up a little bit Okay, so now I have a tighter knot, and I'm going to slide the cover down. And it needs to go right over. And you'll notice that it screws on. Sometimes when you screw these on, you can actually screw the wires right off of these connectors here. So sometimes I just like to slide it on as far as it'll go and give it a good push. You just heard it snap into place. So then you can put it on a bench and give it a little push. There we go. And now that's connected on pretty good. We've got some strain relief in there so I can pull on these leads and the end will not come off. So I have a good quality 9 volt alkaline battery here and you can see that the part snaps onto the battery so it goes on this way and it just snaps on then the other end of my plug is ready to plug into a project and there I have my little Knight Rider lights going on my project.